So I'm gonna ask you what seems like a simple question, but I know it's very nuanced for a lot of us, but I'm gonna ask it anyway, because it's the most important question. What's gonna matter to you in the big picture? And what won't matter to you in the big picture? Can we take a minute to do a little bit of dreaming? Imagine when you're say 80 or 90 or 100 years old, Lord willing, Imagine at the end of your life and you're looking back over the whole of the life that you've just lived. When you look back on all these years and all these decisions and all of that currency of time that you have invested in one thing or another, what are you going to be so grateful that you invested it in? What's going to matter? And then when you look back, what is also not going to matter? Sometimes that's easier for me to look at. It's harder for me to envision what will matter or where I want to be in the big picture because it's all in God's hands, right? But sometimes it's a lot easier and you feel a visceral reaction to it too when you look at what won't matter. Now, it may be different for all of us, but for me, some of the things that won't matter are approval of people unless it's something that glorified God and helped me to, to share the gospel with someone. Um, what won't matter are numbers for the most part. Again, unless those are tied to something that the Lord has asked me to do. What won't matter is how perfectly I had my house cleaned or how perfectly my children behave. What will matter is the connection that I made with them that will hopefully open up a connection for them to have a deep relationship with God and a faith. So that will matter. But what are the things for you? There are so many choices here and there's no wrong answer. I want you to take a minute right now and write down some of the things that will matter and some of the things that won't matter. And remember, be bold here because whatever you write down, that's like planting a seed. You're planting a seed that will grow over time into something that adds up to the big picture of your life. How we spend our time is how we spend our lives. Where do you want to spend it at the end of your life in the big picture when you're looking back? Just think, if you were to, even just in small ways, start to cultivate the things that do matter to you today, how are those things going to add up in the big picture? It's like when you look at, and I know we're going to get a little nitty gritty technical for just a minute, but if you look at compounding interest, let's just pretend you've got a penny in your hand. Would you rather have in that that penny in your hand, would you rather that, um, let's say, double every day for 30 years, or would you rather get $1,000 at the end of 30 days? I know, doesn't that show us something? Sometimes we go towards the instant gratification, but if we look at the big picture and how that's going to add up, some, someone do the math there, right? I'm sure it's a whole lot more than $1,000. So if you were to compound one penny, it doubles every day for 30 years. I don't even know what the number is, but it's probably going to be a whole lot more. It's the same same thing with how we spend our time today. All right, so that's number one, is to focus first on the big picture. And the more detail you write, the better. The more you can envision it, the more likely you are to be able to walk into that. It's like Olympic athletes, for instance. An Olympic skier, a slalom athlete, they actually visually memorize that course and they know every little twist and turn on that course before they take it. So that on the day of, let's say the weather is a little bit more icy, uh, the terrain is more icy, the weather is colder, there's a wind coming in from the northwest, they know so clearly what the, the vision and the path is ahead that they can adjust along the way, right? We're not here to put a perfect blueprint into to place. Um, God has all of that for us. What we are here, though, to do is to get rid of all the clutter and all the things that hold us back from seeing His plan for us. 